Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. It's midday right now and I'm packing up my stuff to go do some crappy searching and maybe some walleye fishing. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, drilling a bunch of holes. I'm going to try out this basin I've been looking at and um, a weed bed for some crappy see if they're there. And hopefully they're there. If not, um, I may move around, maybe try some walleye or something like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before we get into it, we got some Lady Bass stickers made. Um, you can find them on the KenyanTackleStore.com. I'm going to leave a link down below. Um, they are four inches, three or four inches, I believe, um, and like a waterproof vinyl. They're very, very high quality. It's a great way to support me in my adventures and kind of keep this whole channel running. I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support in, in all of my uh, fishing endeavors. So uh, those stickers are brand new. I'm really excited about them. As you guys can see, I already decked out some of my gear. Um, but that being said, let's get in the car and let's go do some fishing. Yeah. Oh, it's a fat perch. It came a little shallower. I know there's a weed bed here, so we want to kind of drill around it and see if the uh, fish maybe were hanging out here. But instead, got ourselves a chunky perch. Want to see him, Tom? Nice. Mew. All right, so uh, three marks so far, probably the same fish um, coming in on bottom. Starting off, let me show you guys what I'm starting off with. I got my little IMX here. I used for crappy fishing, but um, it's a great little rod for some smaller and medium-sized walleye. And I got that Freedom Tackle. Jigging minnow spoon, those hooks are sharp. And the pink tiger glow and a minnow head on there. So let's see if we can get some of these walleye to uh, turn on and bite. Yeah. Oh, he's tiny. Oh no, he's off. No. <laughs> I lost him. Oh. Had him on for a split second. Probably just like skin hooked him in the mouth. He came off around the 20 foot mark. And back down we go. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Oh, the rod slipped out of my hand. <laughs> Big or small? Tiny. Tiny? Yeah. Maybe he's even still on. Yeah! <laughs> well, I think he does it again. See his stomach? It's pretty gross. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Just throw him down the hole. Here you go. That's all you, dude. It's all me. Still on? Yeah, he's not big. He's very small. Oh. <laughs> and he came off. He came off? Yeah. <laughs> What a very a anticlimactic. You didn't even set the hook on him. I didn't. I thought I would be a little bit bigger, but. They're coming. Ow. Yeah. So it's hitting like 4.30 now. I know. I I have to leave at 4.45. So we'll see if we can maybe prolong our stay a little bit more. One good one. Yeah, just one good one. Just one good one. They're coming in hot now, so let's see. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. He came up and just ate it right away. See, 
have four pound line, eh? Four pound? Yeah. Oh, a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, I should have done that. Four pound line. You could have lost your pinky. Thank you. Well, guys, they're coming in now. <laughs> On that pinky right there. Whole front hook. He came up and just destroyed it. Picking up a little bit, so let's send this guy back. <laughs> See ya. On to bigger ones, hopefully. There's like no bend to this rod. <laughs> it's just yeah, so, it's, it's just so like stiff. A... Brian, Brian's on the board. Oh, this is a little, this is a little guy. This is a dink. Just get my middle back. My middle head. head. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are you actually going to set the hook this time? I don't know. He's on there. Yeah, I got him. That feels better. Ooh. Walleye. Walleye. Ooh. Ooh, he's pulling some brine drag. Brine drag. <laughs> he's not that big. I don't think so. Oh, oh, more Brian drag. <laughs> I'm waiting for the tape to go off. I know, I'm looking at it too. We have this tip up here and over there, we have a tape tip up. It's a stick. <laughs> with tape. With a spool of <laughs> six pound mono. <laughs> yeah. It's the old school rig of, it's what I use to grow up fishing. There's the leader. There you go. I don't think he's, he's got oh, a little bit of- I saw something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good one. Oh, he, he pooped, pooped everywhere. That's a nice one, dude. That's one of the night so far. I might keep him, but I think I might throw him back. Because I don't want to clean fish tonight. No. He would taste good, though. Yeah. <laughs> On a drop shot rig. <laughs> it, feels, it seems like it might tangle up, but... Pretty good. He's a nice little... Little guy. Is that li I, I think that's little. It's a pretty decent size. I don't know. <laughs> he pooped Brian everywhere. has bigger standards. I had bigger standards. There he goes. Good job, dude. He was like, ah! <laughs> Where's he pooping out? I'm not sure. Looks like crayfish. You think so? No, I don't know. It looks like poop to me. It looks like, <laughs> looks like I should so be driving home right now. This is so bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab a couple more fish. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta go home. All right. So you guys may be wondering why I ran off a hot walleye bite. And uh, let me show you. <laughs> so I left early to uh, drop off the skidoo at my buddy's place. Uh, he does aluminum welding. And uh, Aaron and I have been wanting to do this for a little bit. We, we wanted to do this since we bought it, bought the skidoo this fall. Um, we wanted to build like a little uh, storage, I guess, for the back. Mostly for like camera gear, small stuff, extra mix, extra stuff. Um, just because when we're towing the hut, everything kind of hits each other and we don't want stuff breaking or fragile stuff breaking. Uh, let me show you what we, what we kind of did. All right, so this is kind of the aluminum frame and tote that my buddy fabricated for us. So it's made out of one inch aluminum. As you guys can see, it's bolted into the skidoo frame on both sides. And it wraps around. Got a bar on top here for support. Same thing on the other side. We got two diagonal aluminum bars welded onto another frame on the top, just a box frame, where we are able to remove, you guys can see, this sportsman box on the top. Sorry, that exposure is really bad, but the sportsman box on the top. So if we ever want to, we can remove the whole frame for resale or whatever. Um, but when we're traveling or when we want to remove this box, it's really easy. We just unscrew these butterfly wings. There's four of them, and just literally pop 
the sportsman top up. But as you guys can see, it looks really, really clean on the back of the skidoo. Um, and we're able to, you know, use this, as, use this as storage on our fishing adventures. So yeah, that's a quick update of the skidoo. Um, I'm really, really happy with how the welding and the whole aluminum frame came out. It looks really, really clean. Like I said, it was really important for us to have uh, the box removable, and it is, and it's pretty easy. Um, so uh, I think we might fabricate something for the auger along the side. Uh, it's a later issue, but I'm really, really happy with it, and that's the reason why I left that walleye bite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave a link to the rod reel line and that pinky I was using down below in the description. And um, I will see you guys in the next one.